stop. I'm blushing. Oh, look, so are you. Hey guys, just out here uh, with my blushing tomatoes. I'm uh, gonna pick them, the ones that are starting to turn and getting their little blush or orangish color. I planted the medium rare hybrid new for 2022 tomatoes this past spring uh, or early winter, I guess. Here's around March. And I um, got those in the ground and they're growing like crazy. So I need to get these tomatoes picked because they're getting huge and they're getting very heavy for my plants. And I think it'll help the smaller ones grow bigger as well. So if I can get some of them off there and it can focus more of its attention on um, turning the green ones orange or red and just putting more into the ones that need to grow a little bit more. So I'm gonna get started. So I got my big basket here and we're gonna pick some tomatoes. I planted these uh, cherry tomatoes for my granddaughter. And this is loaded. It's loaded with tomatoes. Um, there's all kinds. So, uh, and I also did romas. So these actually, no, these are the cherry. These are the cherry. So anyway, it's uh, going pretty well. So this isn't going to be the scientific version because I don't really know exactly how it works, but just a little tip, tomatoes, when they get ready to ripen, they start to put off some kind of a gas inside to make them turn uh, the orange red color that you see normally on a tomato. So as soon as that starts in your plants, you can go ahead and pick them. So this one has already started, so it doesn't have to stay on the plant to turn orange or red. It will do it on its own because the gases inside have started to change the tomato. So when you have giant tomatoes like this and they start to turn and blush, you can take them off and alleviate some of the weight from your plant. check my plants out is I tap my branches that have the flowers on them. That helps pollinate them. And I just walk down through and tap them. That shakes that flower around and gets that pollinated for you, just in case you don't have pollinators to do that. Well, the sun's coming around, but there's one more thing that I have to do in the garden to my tomatoes. I have got a broken stake that I had in there. It's a plastic stake with a metal rod that goes down in the ground. And this plant is so heavy with tomatoes that it basically snapped that right off. So I want it to stand back up if possible because I don't want it to break 
right now it's just bent over so I think I can stand it back up. So I took my, uh, my little chainsaw, my little GTA 26 and cut a nice big skinny but sturdy stick. So I am going to try and stick this in here to prop this up. Here's the other half of that plastic steak. I'm gonna try and stick this right back in the same hole that the steak came out of. There we go. I also have some of my Velcro ties. This is super heavy. Don't know if this is gonna work. Got a few carrots. And then I just set these out and they'll turn on their own. They don't even need to be in a window. You could just stick them anywhere. Tomato hole. In circles, but I'm still on the ground. 